Hey guys, Jason Guyman here with PressureWashHelp.com, here to help you grow your business and for you to be successful and change your life. That's right, I want you to be successful. Today, I'm, this video is going to be all about which hose should I use? Should I use two wires? Should I use one wire? You know, should I save the money? Will two wire last longer? Will one wire last longer? Um, what pressure hose should I use? You know, should I buy the American stuff? Should I buy Chinese stuff? Should I buy? So over the last eight years, I have bought lots of hose. Now, one thing we need to be careful with is if our, you know, if our machine is rated for 4,000 PSI, you know, you may want to back that down and not pressurize that hose at 4,000 PSI, especially one wire. So one wire will only usually go up to about 3,500 to 4,000. Um, so if we're going to use one wire, we don't want to be exceeding it. Now, with that being said, when they test this stuff, usually they test this stuff at three times before it blows. I'm not saying not to use it. I'm just saying that I haven't used it. I'm just saying be careful with what you're doing. You know, you don't want to get hurt by using too much pressure and it blows a hose and it causes issues. Um, so, you know, one wire versus two wires. Well, first question is, is will one wire last longer than two? Honestly, I've had two blow just as fast as one. Um, basically, all you're looking at is just another uh, set of wires around it. It's not really going to keep it um, from maybe having a weak spot. Um, two wire, here's the benefits of two wires. You know, it, it, it is good for 6,000 PSI, um, and four wires or two, one wire is only good for 1,000 PSI. Um, with that being said, you know, which one's better? Honestly, I like one wire, and here's why I like one wire it's lighter, it's easier to manage, and it's not a big, um, it's not heavy, you can't um, two wire, it's a little bit more heavier, it gets, um, it's harder to pull, it's just a little bit harder to manage versus one wire. Um, so that is the issue with the two wire versus one wire. And honestly, there, you know, I just started buying one wire just because it was easier for our guys to pull hose, it was easier to just, it was easier just to manage that hose. You know, when you're pulling around a house and the flowers and the bushes and all that kind of stuff, and you're trying to pull that big old two hose, two wire hose, it, it takes a little bit more out of you. Especially if you're a one man show and, and you're trying to do, you know, four or five house washes in a day, three, four house washes in a day, that two wire does get a little bit heavier and it, you will notice the difference in, in pulling that stuff versus the one wire. So, I just wanted to pull this video up here for you know the one wire versus two wire. Um, just with the two one wire, make sure that our pressure, you know, you might want to turn that pressure um, down a little bit so that way we're not spiking that pressure up above the burst blow. Um, and again, with hoses, be safe with them. You know, if they blow, you can't fix them. You know, you can cut it and fix it, but don't ever run your hand down that hose. And again, we're talking safety. You know, if, if we blow a hose, go to the machine and shut it off. Don't try to wrestle that thing and, and, and it's going every which way. Just go to the machine and shut it down. Know where to shut it down at. Um, don't ever run your hand if it's got a leak. Don't ever run because it, it can shoot water into your skin and penetrate it. and It, it, it can kill you, give you water and blue. And it ain't good. So don't do it. Um, so just be careful with um, pressure hoses. And remember, we're dealing with 3,000, 4,000 PSI. If it blows, it can knock you upside the head and it can hurt you. I mean, I had a hose. Um, it was a brand new hose. It was the hose from the, the um, it was from the uh, surface cleaner down there and it blew and that sucker came up and whacked me and left me a nice uh, mark on me. So just be careful with hoses. Um, and that's just what I wanted to show, tell you today. Um, if you would like to know, um, learn more about um, pressure washing and getting into a pressure washing business, go check out my um, pressurewashhelp.com slash training. Um, it goes over everything. Um, it is a, it's, it's, well, it's not that expensive to get into it. And, and I basically teach you everything you need to know how to pressure wash from getting business to pressure washing. And everybody wants to know how to get how to, how to get um, pressure washing and how to pressure wash. Pressure washing is the easy part, people. 
getting business is the tough part. Um, I got a buddy that just told me that today. He's like, I know you always say that, and now I know why you say that. Pressure washing is easy, getting business the hard part. So if you need help getting business, check out my Google AdWords stuff down here, and I will, um, and I can help you out there too. See you in my next video.